Well, uh, over the last few years, I have waxed many pounds of cheese. Some I've made myself, which I'm going to do again because I have some goat does that are going to give birth this winter, and some that I have uh, bought from the store. And I bought this uh, cheese wax here from the uh, New England Cheese Making Company. And I have this double boiler system, which is completely dedicated to uh, cheese wax because once you get this stuff on, it ain't never coming off. The problem is I just came across an article that I've never occurred to me before that by waxing cheese, uh, I can possibly be giving myself botulism. And the reason for that is it's an anaerobic environment. And they say that the cheeses today are not the same as cheeses of yesteryear. So what I have often done, I did again in this case, was I got this two pound block of cheese. I put it in the freezer for a few minutes. I find that makes it a little easier. The reason I was gonna wax this was cheese is ridiculously expensive in Alaska. This was on sale uh, for eight bucks, which here it's a good deal. And uh, I bought a bunch of them and I was gonna wax them and set them aside. So I think the test is, the, the issue is moisture as I understand it in terms of the spores and the botulism and all of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my thumb here and I'm gonna press it into the cheese and I'm gonna see if there's an imprint uh, and if there's no imprint, then that to me suggests that this cheese is dry enough to wax. And I don't see any imprint, not even a slight one. So I'm going to take a chance. So um, if it kills me, it kills me. I mean, food safety is obviously an issue, but good Lord, the government would have us believe that everything you do is going to kill you. So um, I'm simply going to take this wax now and i am going to i use the brush method i know some people use the dip method i'm not um, as good at that i'm afraid I'm with my setup here and i simply i'm gonna whack i'm gonna simply stroke on some wax here and the key is to make sure there's no holes at all not even a, you know nothing because if you leave even the tiniest hole it will mold and will become unsafe um at the height of the pandemic well pandemic last year uh I put a bunch of cheese aside because the stores here were bonkers. It's about a, a year ago now, and uh, been eating some of that without getting botulism, and it's just uh, unbelievably delicious. I mean, I've just been aging in the shop at about 40 degrees for uh, the last year and a bit, year and a half or whatever, and just extra sharp cheddar. So anyways, that's how I wax cheese, and that's how I test for, um, or I did test for whether it's dry enough to safely wax. Whether this is a good idea or a bad idea, I'm going to leave that entirely up to you. If you feel like it's going to give you, sorry if my finger was in the way, if you feel like it's going to give you uh, botulism and is going to kill you deader than damn, don't do it. Um, but I'm going to take the chance that I'm going to do it, and this, this is how I do it, and I'm going to do all the sides, and then I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to go stick it in my shop with the rest of the cheese and let it sit there for six months or a year. It may come even more delicious, and food ain't getting cheaper, folks. It's only getting worse.